information, has a lot of experience in Formula 4. We welcome her once again back to Long Beach. Coming all the way from Australia with the Road Rage backed machine, the number two of Sean Richardson. Plenty of starts here, 14 career starts, and has enjoyed a podium down under. Did make one start here in the States at Watkins Glen. Let's go back to this next one. He brings a pile of fans with him. Nearly three million followers on YouTube. Hell yeah, brother. Cletus McFarland is with us, sponsored by Funhaver. He is a rookie inside of the field, making his debut with the stadium super trucks. We wish him the best. Then in the number 32 truck, a name rich in motorsports history out in the desert. It is Ryan Arciero, his father also a member of the Hall of Fame for off-road, sponsored by Dragonfly, also making his debut right here at Long Beach. We go back to the next truck. It's going to be the number 77. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the son of Robbie Gordon at a mere age of 13 years old. Ran his first full season one year ago in 2021. He's back to have a crack at it. This is Mad Max, Max Gordon. We also welcome back another driver that has a number of starts with us. Very successful behind the wheel of a wing sprint car on the asphalt. In fact, the 2016 King of the Wing champ. This is Davey Hamilton Jr. sponsored by Thin Energy. Then we go to our top five in qualifying here. This is the number 28 truck sponsored by Continental Tire, Lucas Oil, and Fatheads. Robert Stout, the 2021 Stadium Super Truck Rookie of the Year, earned a win at Nashville and a podium right here at Long Beach. We go back to the four quick qualifiers. The final two rows, this is a complete inversion. It's a number 27 truck, again, sponsored by Continental Tire. A five-time short course off-road champ also, two wins here in Stadium Super Trucks, including right here at Long Beach. Put your hands together for Jarrett Brooks. After a two-year hiatus to get his degree in school, he accomplished that, and we welcome him back. This is a number 55 truck, sponsored by VP. Gavin Harlan finished second in the points in 2018, has nine wins here with the series and 30 podiums. He also has a win here at Long Beach. He will be a tough player after two years, qualified third. Then we go to the only three-time champion in the history of the series, also your reigning champion from one year ago. Again, sponsored by Mastermind. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the third winningest driver in the history of the series, Matty Brabham. And finally, the man behind the dream. 18 poles, two of them right here at Long Beach. Eight podiums and four wins. He's a winningest driver here at Long Beach, second winningest driver in the history of the series. This is the number seven, Robbie Gordon. Everybody lined up here. Let's tell you how this is going to go. Uh, Ralph, I'm not sure if you're on with me or not. Uh, we'll see if we can work in here. If possible, we'll yeah. work. Uh, we'll work Ralph in. I heard you right there. So the way they'll work this out is we will have two mandatory cautions. They will run three and a half laps, and then there's a jump in the back between five and six where they'll throw a caution flag and bring everybody back together. We'll do the same exact format again, run another three and a half laps, throw that mandatory caution flag out, and then it will be a three-lap shootout to the very end. Now keep in mind, based on qualifying from just one day ago, this is the complete field inversion. Yeah, and that's one of the things that makes it so exciting, right? The combination of the inversion and those yellow flags that you were talking about means that just when you think you've got the field covered and you can relax, catch your breath, forget about it. Here they all come. <laughs> yes, and absolutely. And if you happen to uh, to listen to Robbie when he was doing his interview there before the start of the race, these things create lift. The front of the trucks will go up in the air. They punch a big hole, and that allows the guys back behind them to get after it. Green flag flies. We are racing here at Long Beach, kicking off the 2022 season. Explicit instructions to go fast, but do not crash here on this opening lap so we can put on a show for the fans and they will take the gloves off once they get around the fountain and get after it. One of them already fallen there to the back, it looked like. It looked like Ryan Arciero to me. And he pulled out a little bit late, so I wonder if he's having an issue with the truck. Yeah. Be a shame looking forward to 
to seeing Ryan get out here and yeah. battle with these guys. Yeah, and that is Ryan Arciero, who has fallen to the back. Extremely talented racer out in the desert. And a legendary family name here in Southern California as well, involved in so many different forms of racing. Bill Hines, our early leader, and exactly what he wanted to do. Get out front here as they hit the first jump, and you can see the massive amount of air that they will carry. And you can hear the oohs and ahs from the crowd, <laughs> too. And wait till they come to the front stretch, and you get the double right here in the front straightaway. Yeah, the two jumps on the front straightaway are, are close together, so they barely get back on the ground, and then they hit the second one. Already a little bit of blocking going on back in there as the racecraft has begun. And I believe that might be the Baja that Max? Turkey, uh, yeah, swapped a machine by yep. Mad Max, number 77. Max is solid, man. He is very worthy of being out here in this field. All right, Shoreline, here they come to the front straightaway. Get ready, Shoreline. Get on your feet and cheer them on. Stout right on the back bumper of DJ now is pulled up inside of him as they charge down to turn number one. Side by side off the ramp. Stout with the position on the inside. We'll see if he can hang on. DJ will not give it up easily. DJ very comfortable behind the wheel of a 900 horsepower sprint car, but it looks like Stout will get him there in the brake zone. Yeah, he's missing the wing here though, isn't he? Yeah, <laughs> he is missing the wing here. A couple hundred horsepower. But these things are solid, man. 650 horsepower. They weigh in at 2,800 pounds. And as you might imagine, plenty of suspension as you see him take these jumps. And light enough to fly as we've proven already. Everybody knows the tail here. Zoe Eaton home, followed up by the 77 of Mad Max. Max taking a look now to the inside of Zoe. Can't get it done. She's on the break way late. Holding him off, nice job. And Ken, as we watch him go over this jump here, a little bit further around the track, well, you've got to hit those jumps just right. You've got to be squared up and accelerate at just the right time to launch the vehicle over the jump at the proper angle. Otherwise, a landing might not be as smooth as you're hoping for. Yeah, you bring up a great point. If there's any sort of preload in the truck at all, it will launch the truck the other way whenever you hit the jump. So you're absolutely right. It is a thing of art. It's easy to make a mistake as well. Yeah, it seems simple. It's not It's not just put your foot to the floor and let it fly. You, you really got to time it just right. And you see Zoe went around the jump there. They are allowed to do that. You just cannot advance your position. Here we go. Back down the shoreline again where the big double is. Oh, Cletus, hang on, baby. Hell that's, yeah, brother. That's exactly what we're talking about <laughs> when it comes to not hitting the, the ramp just right. He he didn't hit it just right, and you could see that truck started to nose over as he was getting close to touchdown. And if you're not squared up, boy, that could be a real problem. But you know what that tells me is Cletus had his foot flat on the floor. Where oh, he over shot turn, turn one. Down into turn one, has to get a turn back around. He'll lose a bunch of spots. Making his debut here, though, having a great time, bringing a lot of fans with him, representing the series. It's awesome to have Cletus out here. Well, one in doubt, gas it up, right? <laughs> and almost into the wall right there, as it looks like Matty Bravel trying to make his way around him, and Robbie Gordon's going to follow. Let's see how far those two can get up through the field before we get the break. So yeah, of course, as Ralph just mentioned, there will be a break here. Uh, we've seen him come oh, by one here around a back yeah, the a lot back of tire here. smoke back in there, huh? We take a look at the monitors here, and uh, just the way things look right now, kind of difficult to see some of those head-on shots. Get you up to speed. Jared Brooks back in there trying to pick his way forward. Just ahead of Matty Brabham and Robbie Gordon, quite the trio right there. Bill Hines making some hay here, man. Well, the best thing Hines can do is sneak off and run away. Of course, they're going to tighten the field back up when we get the break. But if he can find a good rhythm now and can repeat that when we get going again, it'll be in good shape. Robbie Gordon taking a look at the inside of Maddie. Grab him. I thought they were going to go up the jump side by side, but Gordon does have the spot. And that's one of the trickier jumps because it leads you right into that corner. Just 
just in case if you were wondering if Mad Max was uh, at 13 years of age capable of being out here. He's leading the Rookie of the Year, a, an overall winner in Nashville. Robert Stout, a three-time national champion in sports cars and off-road. Max Gordon is a solid player at the age of 13 behind the wheel of one of these things. He's going to be a seasoned veteran by the time he turns 16 and gets his driver's license. Yeah, we were talking about that. I just don't want to be the instructor that has to, to pass him. Right. He'll be looking for the jumps. Good luck there at uh, Davey Hamilton. Davey Hamilton, Jr. Getting back out here and a solid player as well. Has a number of starts inside the series over the course of some time. And right behind him is Jared Brooks. Jared Brooks with 20 starts here in this series. Two wins and nine podiums. Currently out front, it is Bill Hines followed up by Max Gordon, then Robert Stout, your top three. Jared Brooks inside of the top five, followed up by Robbie Gordon and Matty Brabham. And it looks like they did throw this first caution out here, the mandatory caution in the back as expected. So Bill Hines doing exactly what he wanted to do, which is get out here, lead early, and, uh, and he'll try to hang on. Uh, you know, over the course of these next two segments. There's a replay of some of the action from earlier. Nice save, really, right, to keep it off the wall. Great save. And you can see Robbie and Brabham have worked their way up through the field. Where are they about? Uh, looks like Robbie's in six, Brabham listed in seventh. So they went just about halfway up through the field. You see Bill Hines there. Wagging the tail of that thing coming off the hairpin as they hit the doubles here on the front straightaway. Look how he landed that on the back wheels. Sound a little nose down action. Typically when they land nose down, that's because they did not lift going off the face of the jump. My guess is that's what Cletus did, man. He just kept his foot flat on the floor yeah. and said, I'm going for it. <laughs> well, that's what you think, right? Just hammer down and keep digging. But it's, it's not the best way to approach it. All right, here we go. Hines was quick on the jump, and he should have a nice little gap heading down into the braking zone here at turn one. Yeah, Hines is a veteran, man. He knows what's going on there. And the second he got the wheels on the ground, he stood on the throttle. Everybody else is still working over the jump, right? Look at Max, man, down deep into that brake zone. And I promise you, Stout runs as deep in the brake zone as anybody out there. Is that Cletus McFarland passing Robbie Gordon back? Yeah, he's, he's giving him some business here, isn't he? <laughs> How about that? How long six that? Oh, oh, he overcooks it around the fountain and goes right to the outside wall. He is six foot six. He's a big dude. Having some fun out here. First time behind the wheel of the truck. That is Sean Richardson getting down underneath him there as well. Sean Richardson, great to have him here all the way from Australia. Has a ton of racing experience and a lot of different disciplines. Whoa! Hang so on. Right into the wall. Oh, man. Thought she might be Zoe. able to save it, but that was Zoe. And unfortunately, man, she slung that thing all the way around. Looks like the truck's OK. Yeah. These trucks are pretty tough. These guys thrash them pretty hard, and uh, they can take a pretty hard beating and keep on running. Looks like Brooks now rolling up on the back bumper of Stout. Stout not able to track Max down. Max driving a great race here in second place, as is Bill Hines, by the way. Bill Hines out front. Max has not been able to close the gap on him. talked about this being one of the best fields we've seen in a long time. I mean, a lot of wins underneath the belts, a lot of championships underneath these guys' belts as well. There's a lot of talent out here in these trucks. And from a wide variety of motorsports. Well, that's a great point. You're that's the other thing right. I like about it. Matty Bravo, of course, competing back in Indy Lights this year. 
great opportunity for him, but so successful in open wheels. Of course, his family as well. His father, Jeff Brabham, four-time MC GPP champ. His grandfather, the late Sir Jack Brabham, the uh, Formula One world champion. Talk about short course off-road. Now Max all over the back bumper of Bill Hines. And Brooks trying to hold off Davey Hamilton Jr. Stout opens up the entry of this right hand. Robbie up the inside here. Yeah. Robbie oh. Gordon in that speed energy machine working the inside, making the pass, and he's going to pick up Hamilton. Yeah, working DJ oh. over. And Stout doing everything he can to get around Max, and looks like he finally got it done. He was actually quicker and just couldn't find the right opportunity just made one happen and it worked well max is good man i mean right down deep in the oh, break yeah. zone and that takes away your opportunity right max is incredibly talented no surprise son of robbie max blows smoke off the front tires there wow matty bravo really nose down hard there off the second jump I can't Richardson wait to try to catch up. I can't wait to see all the things Max Gordon is going to do. He's he's an incredibly talented young man, just 13 years of age, and not only is he fast, but when you talk to him, Ken, he is very sharp. Oh, he's switched on. The young man is switched on. He's in a race car a lot. By the way, a spectacular move out of Robbie Gordon. He actually pitched the truck in, set it up, made his angle a little bit better there in turn number one, and shot right down underneath Jared Brooks. Incredible move there out of the seventh truck. Too bad we didn't have a camera on the pedals in that truck and watch him dancing in there, right? And his hands, too. I bet you yeah. they were dancing as well. Crossed up. Loving every minute of it. 140 plus starts here for Rodney Gordon behind the wheel of one of these things. He knows how to how to handle one, no doubt. And by the way, Max Gordon is still right there on the back bumper of Stout. That's maybe the best battle on the racetrack right now. It's those two fighting over second. Stout pulling up alongside Hines for a lead change here on the back straightaway. It looks like Max is going to go with him. Grab some arrow off the back of that. This should be their third time around. We'll see if we get that. Oh, and Max taking a look at the outside. Can he get it done? Chuck is dancing there hard on the brakes. Be careful, Max. Dad's ready to pounce. That is right behind him, isn't he? We'll see if we get that next mandatory caution. Stout makes Whoa. a mistake. Did he oh, make a mistake man. or did he get a little love? I think he got a little push from Max. And Gordon got hung up too, and Brooks went by Robbie. Max just learned something right there, man. That kid's going to be tough. Painting out some three wide. Here comes Robbie again, far inside of that bright orange truck. Stout really opened up the entry of that, and that, uh, that allows Robbie to take a look. He does get back underneath Brooks. So Max and Stout misses it right there. Robbie gets underneath him, goes side by side, and wow, Robbie Gordon makes a pass. Oh, he did not make the pass here in the short shoot. Thought he was going to get it. It is so easy to carry so much speed into that corner right there. And so Max, look at that lead, man, after he uh, loosened Stout up there in the hairpin, got around him, and I mean drove away. Brooks and Brabham back here. Three wide, look at that. DJ sticking his nose right underneath there with Brabham and Brooks. And that caution should bring him to the mandatory caution here, the second and final mandatory caution. That will set up the final three lap shootout. The leader, which will be Max. Max Gordon will pick up the throttle just after this first jump. We'll crown a winner here in just a little bit. And yeah, that another look Zoe. there at Zoe. You know, look at the replay. It's Cletus getting wide and off into the barriers again.
So round number one here of the 2022 season, and there's a good look at uh, Max helping Stout around the uh, the hairpin. All's fair in love and war, man. That's right. <laughs> that is right. All right, now let's see who gets to jump on the start this time. The winner, by the way, is, will earn some points here today, along with qualifying points from yesterday, and then points again from tomorrow's race. We'll add them up, and we'll have an overall at the end of tomorrow. All right, here we go again. like Robbie Gordon dragged his feet just a little bit there on that restart. Big gap there between first, second, and then third back to Robbie. Don't count him out. Plenty of uh, plenty of talent back in there. Good battle going on with Matty Bradham down underneath DJ. Oh, in contact right there. That's the exact same scenario that Matty Bradham and Stout had last year at the second round, yep. final round of the race. Matty and Brooks. And the VP back machine of Gavin Harlan. Haven't heard too much from Gavin, and Gavin very fast, oh. qualified third. Did he just smack the wall? Brooks with a beautiful slide right off that corner that has given some of the IndyCar guys so much fits this weekend. He made a pass through there. Oh, Gavin Harlan does, we talking about before, very talented out here, finished second in the points 2018, third in the points 2019. He's the third truck in that little trio right there. Uh, has a ton of speed, qualified third here yesterday after two years out of the truck. Screaming down this long back straightaway, headed for this hard braking zone. You see the nose of the truck just dive under the brakes. Maddie and Brooks going at it, two of the absolute very best behind the wheel of one of these things. And Robbie talked about De designing and developing these trucks. And one of the things he did was he didn't want it to be perfect all the time. He wants it to be difficult for the guys to drive. You've got to figure out how to make this thing work. Especially oh. late in the race. Big hit there by Stout. Stout. Really nose down. And how about oh. Robbie Gordon closing the gap big time. It's already on the back bumper of Stout. Yeah, Stout's got a mirror full of Robbie Gordon right now. And Here you know what Robbie Gordon. Gordon's thinking. He wants a win. He wants a first, second father, son. Right up the inside comes Robbie Gordon going down into turn number one, up over the rumble strips, and he's got the outside, which will become the inside, at the next corner going to the fountain. There's a little contact in there, and Robbie's going to pull away with second. Stout trying to hold on to that position. Robbie squeezing him over. Stout trying to squeeze back, trying to find some racing real estate. That's going to open up a big gap for Max. Ladies and gentlemen, we might witness history here today. Max Gordon, at the age of 13 years old, is just on the brink of grabbing his first career win with the Stadium Super Truck Series. Think of it coming here in his backyard in Long Beach. How great with that. Dad in second place right now as well. Father, son up on the podium first and second. Doesn't get any better than that. Of course, I wouldn't rule Stout out yet. I wouldn't rule Brooks out yet. And Max has to finish it up, right? He can't make a mistake. A lot of pressure out front. No. And you know Dad's back there. This time by, there'll be one to go, Shoreline. One lap remaining. Here he comes. Here comes Max Gordon. Cheer him on. Can he get to the checkered flag here at the Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach? Get on your feet, Shoreline. Let him hear you. Bring him home. Off the ramp. Huge lead right now. Mad Max on his way. Can he grab his first career win here at Long Beach? What a beautiful place to grab your first win. Does it get any better than the Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach? I mean, it's incredible. And oh, another beautiful man. pass right there. It does not touch the wall. Boy, he could have slapped the wall with the rear end of the truck right there. Good look at Jared Brooks. That is the 55 BP truck of Gavin Harlan. We go back up to our lead of the Baja Jerky, sponsored number 77. Mad Max closing out the back half of this lap. One of the brightest young talents 
in this young age group that you see out there in the country, no matter what they're racing these days, Max Gordon with so much potential. And by the way, if you haven't had it, the Baja Jerky is the best I've ever had. Incredibly good. And he's going to give them some love right here and putting this thing out front. See if he can finish it up. A couple of corners and two big jumps here on shoreline yet to go for Max Gordon. Yeah, pretty big gap there. Looks like we might see a battle here for third before it's all said and done with Matty Brabham rolling up on the back of Stout. But we're going to keep an eye on this blue truck, the number seven of Max Gordon. All right, here he comes, Shoreline, get ready. Making his way onto the front straightaway. Final time down Shoreline in anger. It's the 77 truck, Baja Jerky. Max Gordon, just 13 years of age. And out across the finish line, he's gonna get it done. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tech of Black Fives for 13-year-old Max Gordon, followed up by his father, Robbie Gordon, and Robert Stout to round out the podium. Congratulations to that young man, and he absolutely earned it. Stout got around him, he's kept his cool, stayed right on the back bumper a couple of laps later, put a bumper right back on him through the hairpin, loosened Stout up, got underneath him, and then drove away. Incredible race prep out of that young man. So the celebratory uh, cool down lap should be a pretty good one here. Robbie always pulls a few stunts. We'll see if he. Uh, How proud is that? Yeah, and I'll pop in that truck. Let's see if he uh, leaves a bumper to Max here. Gesturing to his son, of course. Like I bet you Robbie's more excited about it than Max is. Well, victory, <laughs> victory Circle is going to be a lot of fun. You have a good time over there. We'll uh, we'll bring him back around. Kid's going to make his way over to the podium, and the Gordon family celebration will be underway here in just a second. Here we go. Look out, Maddie. Grab him up on two wheels. You can hear the crowd all the way around here at the Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach cheering them on. Robbie says, go ahead. We'll see you in victory lane. That's where Max is headed. Here they come through the back door onto pit lane. Stout's made his way there. Our third place finisher here today. Series kicking off its 2022 championship season here this weekend, and they've got quite a few races yet to go this year, including the Big Machine Music City Grand Prix in Nashville coming up in August. You'll see them there as part of that show. Still wearing out the tires are the Gordons. This could take a while. Here they come, there's Max making his way in. Give him a big round of applause, everybody. Let him hear you. And Robbie has arrived. This should be a pretty raucous celebration in Victory Lane.
right, Ken, we'll go ahead and toss it over to you as uh, Robbie's there, and I'm sure they're going to be crawling out of the trucks and taking helmets off, and uh, things will be getting crazy there. So take it away, Ken Stout. Yo. All right, there we go. Thanks a lot, Ralph. Appreciate it. Man, oh, man, what a race. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the Gordons, putting on a huge show. Great, great stuff. I don't know. I bet you you're prouder than he is. You know, I, I got to be honest. I, um, I'm more proud of him winning today than I was my first race. And, and uh, to do it at Long Beach and be the king of the beach is pretty cool. You know, uh, I grew up right down the road here and loved coming to this race my whole life. And to see this little knucklehead win the race day is just awesome. Um, you know, he doesn't even have a driver's license, 13 years old, and uh, the little dude can wheel. And um, let me tell you what, he'll be back here for the IndyCar race someday here real soon, and you'll see him up here on the podium. I'm confident of that. A little bit of emotion there out of Dad. And I don't know if you're able to see this or not, but Stout got up behind him. Stout really pressured him hard, loosened him up a little bit, and was able to get around him. And he kept his cool. Max kept his cool. A couple of laps later, fed it right back in the hairpin, took the lead, drove it away. Well, Robert races really, really good, and I was able to watch it. And, you know, they got into each other a couple times, both. Uh, it's fair game, and that's what Stadium Super Truck's about. You know, we don't, we don't want this sissy stuff where cars can't touch each other, you know, and everybody gets out and starts crying. I mean, these things are built to bang and to put on good races, and that's what we do here at Long Beach. And I want to thank Jim and his whole team at Long Beach Grand Prix, all you fans, for coming out today. I'm telling you, this little kid is going to be dangerous. There is no question about that. Let's get you guys up to the podium. Let's get you guys up here onto the podium and do a quick, uh, quick interview with everybody. The 2021 Rookie of the Year for the series comes out here swinging, qualified fifth a day ago, but shook the rust off here today. Ladies and gentlemen, finishing up in third place with the Continental-backed Lucas Oil truck. Put your hands together for Robert Stout. Of course, as we just talked to a moment ago, finishing up there in second place, able to close the gap after that last restart in the number seven truck. Put your hands together for Robbie Gordon. Oh, the sparkling cider. Dude, I, I tried, yeah. Is there any in it? Yeah. I, I tried to give you the real stuff, man, but your dad called me out. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, at the young, tender age of just 13, he grabs his first career stadium super truck win, Mad Max Gordon. <laughs> Talk to me about it, man. Talk to me about that race. Stout got on the back of you, kept your composure. You came back. You fed him a little bit. You had a great pass and then kept it clean the rest of the way. Yeah, I mean, uh, Bill just took off at the start, and then, I mean, I was with uh, Robert back there, and I was just having to drive in the mirror, and then I could feel him hit me. He drove by me, and then we were just following, a couple, following him for a couple laps, watching his line, see where he'd go. And then eventually, like, I didn't mean to shift it into first, and it, like, overread, and I, like, hit him in the hairpin, and I just drove around him. But other than that, it was a great race. So a great move learned. You use that one to tomorrow. Yeah, I'll use it tomorrow on this guy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your top three here for round number one of the 2022 Stadium Super Truck season. Robert Stout, Robbie Gordon, and Mad Max. <laughs> I should have held him. <laughs> I should have held him. <laughs> Ralph, we'll get it back up to you, buddy.